Richard Dawkins. Come on, you haven't heard me yet. <laughs> well, I, thank you very much for the introduction. Well, I don't want to blow my own trumpet, but it isn't everybody who's the subject of legislation in... <laughs> the... <laughs> so at the outset, I do need to declare I am very well aware that Representative Tob Todd Thompson is not representative of the state of Oklahoma. <laughs> Be it resolved. <laughs> Whereas the University of Oklahoma, as part of the Darwin 2009 project, has invited as a public speaker on campus Richard Dawkins, whose published opinion as represented in his 2006 book, The God Delusion, and in public statements on the theory of evolution, demonstrate an intolerance for cultural diversity <laughs> and diversity of thinking. <laughs> diversity of thinking. Presumably, that would include I hope you can read what it says on the blackboard of this intelligent, falling theory of gravity lecture. <laughs> DX over DT equals 1 Corinthians 1 to 10. <laughs> or diversity of thinking. What about the stork theory of human reproduction? I was viewed as an intellectual terrorist. If you have questioned sex theory, that's it. Your career is over. I have been told to shut up. As a sex maniac, I'm pretty hostile to the rival stork theory. Just stand up and question sex theory. You'll find out how risky that is. There are people out there who want to keep science in a little box where it can't possibly touch storks. Stork theory. I mean, it's uh, just fantasy, basically. Scientists are not allowed to even think thoughts that involve storks delivering babies. We cannot accept to treat the stork theory as an alternative scientific theory. I'm frightened by this. But I'm not going to let it stop me from investigating and from speaking about it. I'd like to put what I call the ultimate stork theory. It's all very well to say that the stork delivers the baby. But who delivers the stork? Opinion about those who do not believe in the theory. People who reject science. They've lost in the courts of law, they've long ago lost in the halls of science, and they continue to lose with every new piece of evidence in support of evolution. Taking offense is all they've got left. And the one thing you can be sure of is that they don't actually know anything about what it is that they reject. Thank you. 
What's really offensive is the bizarre idea that the University of Oklahoma should only ever hear opinions that the citizens of Oklahoma agree with. Contrary and offensive to the views and opinions of most citizens of Oklahoma. If that principle is ever accepted, you can kiss goodbye to everything that a university stands for. What on earth is a university for if it only reinforces opinions that students already hold? As it happens, as it happens, evolution is a scientific fact as securely established as any fact known in science. I've been so impressed with the good people of Oklahoma fighting this nonsense that I've asked the trustees of the American branch of the Richard Dawkins Foundation for Reason and Science to donate $5,000 to Oklahomans for Excellence in Science Education. And I hope that if anybody here cares about science and education, you will follow suit and make a donation to this fine organization in this fine state. I was uh, very impressed today being shown around the museum, a magnificent museum, which has evolution in every hall, every wall, every exhibit, demonstrates evolution. I also was privileged to see the splendid collection of Darwin books uh, in the library, I think almost uniquely complete collection of Darwin books, again in this fine state.